Hello children, how are you all? I hope you are fine and safe. I am Dakshayani, handling biology from Bahadasana Metric Higher Secondary School, Arakona. Children, today we are going to discuss the first chapter in 11th standard zoology, the living world, right? And the topic of discussion today is about the nomenclature. And today we are going to study about the nomenclature, binomial nomenclature, trinomial nomenclature, tautonomy, rules of nomenclature and the concept of species. So, first topic is nomenclature. What do we mean nomenclature children? Yes, the process of assigning scientific name to the organisms. For example, just I will tell you some words. Giza, Emberi, Duano. What? Are you thinking I am speaking some other language? No children, these are all the words used to denote a human. So, there are more than 6000 languages in the world and it is not possible for, a, in, for us to remember all those 6000 languages. For example, you say, you see just you take an onion. Onion we say in Tamil Nadu by different name, Karnataka in different name, Andhra in different name and just you think about the other states and other countries. They call a single um, organism, single uh, and vegetable in different names in different languages. So, it is not possible for us to remember all those languages. So, there is a need of a universally accepted language, right, universally accepted scientific language so that it is clear. For example, I told you about the onion, right, if you say allium sipa, this is the scientific name of onion. So, the persons everywhere in the world can uh, can understand that we are talking about a onion only that is allium sepa. So, likewise we have the scientific name, we, we, te, we tell what, what we say in Tamil human being Manushan. Likewise, in, the, in different languages, they call by different names, right? But if we say Homo sapiens, this is the scientific name of human beings. This, it can be identified by everyone that we are talking about ourselves. That is, we are talking about the human beings. So, the process of assigning scientific names to an organism is a nomenclature. Now, we are going to see the definition for nomenclature. What is a nomenclature, children? The process of assigning scientific names to the organisms and now there are two types of non-naming right and uh, first one is a binomial nomenclature and another one is the trinomial nomenclature and the process of non naming the organisms is based on the rules of IZZN. What is IZZN? International Code of Zoological Nomenclature. Likewise for the plants. ICBN, International Code of Botanical Nomenclature. And now we are going to see about the binomial nomenclature. Before that, let us write the definition for IZZN. Nomenclature, obey the IZZN. So, before classifying an organism, the habitat, behavior, nutrition, external appearance that is morphology and internal appearance, the internal structure, genetical, everything must be identified before naming an organism. And naming an organism should obey the rules of IZZN. What is IZZN? International International Code of Zoological Nomenclature. Zoological Nomenclature. And first we are going to study about the binomial nomenclature. What do you mean by by? By means two. By means two. If an organism is named by two names we say it as a binomial nomenclature and now we are going to see what is a binomial name or nomenclature children the system of naming the organism by generic and species name for example homo sapiens homo is a generic name and sapiens is the species name and now who proposed the binomial nomenclature Carolus Linnaeus and now we are going to see one example that is a national bird. Which is our national bird children? Peacock that is a peafowl. What is the scientific name of it? 
Pavo Christatus. Just take down, take a notebook and note down all the scientific name children. And now let us see some other. And which is our national animal? Yes. Yes, very good. Tiger. Which is our national animal? Tiger. So the tiger and what is the scientific name of tiger? Panthera tigris. Panthera tigris. So, Panthera tigris, we discussed is a genus name. Panthera is a genus name and tigris is a species name. Since it has two names, generic and the species name, we say this as an example for binomial nomenclature. And let us write some other example. Children, which is our state bird of Tamil Nadu children? Emerald Dow. We say in Tamil as Maragadapura. And now let us see the scientific name of this. The scientific name of emerald dove is Chalcopaps indica. Chalcopaps indica. I N D I C A. Chalcopaps indica. So, we discussed about the three names. What is the scientific name of peacock? Pavo cristatus. What is the scientific name of tiger? Panthera tigris and what is the scientific name of emerald dove? Chalcopaps indica. So, the process of naming an organism by two names is a binomial nomenclature. And now, we are going to study the another type that is a trinomial nomenclature. Trinomial nomenclature and what is trinomial nomenclature children? The process of naming an organism by generic name, species name and subspecies name. If an organism has three names, genus, species and a subspecies name, we say it comes under the trinomial nomenclature. Tri means three, right. And now, who proposed this trinomial nomenclature? Huxley and Strickland. Just underline your book children, Huxley and Strickland. And now we are going to see an example for trinomial nomenclature, Indian house crow, Kagam, right? What is the scientific name of it? It till uh, since there are, we say Andangakai also, right? There are closely related species. So the crow is placed under the separate subspecies also. So the Indian house crow, the scientific name is Corvus splendens splendens. Just Corvus splendens splendens. This is a genus name, this is a species name and this is the subspecies name. Since an organism has three names, it comes under the trinomial nomenclature. And next we are going to study about the tautonomy. Okay children, what is the tautonomy? If the generic and the species name are same, right, we say it as tautonomy. So, the practice of naming the animals in which the generic and the species name is same. We call it as tautonomy. Example, Indian cobra, Rajanagam we say, right? And the scientific name of it is Naja Naja, right? Naja is a genus name and species name is a Naja, right? Since the genus and the species name are same, we say this is an example for tautonomy. And now let us see some other example of tautonomy children. Gorilla, right? The scientific name of gorilla is gorilla, gorilla. Gorilla, gorilla. The genus and the species name are same. And some other example, red fox, right? Sennai, we say, right? Red fox. We say the example, the scientific name of it is Ulps, Ulps. Ulps, Ulps. The genus and the species name are same. So, from this, I am going to give you one activity, children. Take a notebook and write down 10 examples for tautonomy and 10 examples for binomial nomenclature. So, this is the activity which helps you to know and learn more scientific names of a animals right and next we are going to see about the recently it is given in your do you know box children in year 2017 the new species were discovered called as a purple frog now let us see the picture of the purple frog so 
this is the image of the purple frog children you just this is, it is purple in color with the blue color rings around its eyes and it was discovered in the western ghats in the year 2017 and it was named as nasica batrachus bubadi nasica batrachus bubadi what is the scientific name of this purple frog nasica batrachus bubadi and it was discovered in august 2017 in western ghats why it should be named as bubadi because it was named in the remembrance of the person miss dr subramaniam bubadi what is the name of the person dr dr subramaniam bubadi so he spent most of his years in the western ghats and life and lost his life in the western ghats in the year 2014 so in order to re uh, remembrance or on his remembrance we name this the purple frog as nasica batrachus bubadi so we discussed about the nomenclature binomial trinomial tautonomy and next we are going to discuss about the rules of nomenclature right children the rules of nomenclature were based on the rules of icz10 what is said icz10 international code of zoological nomenclature so it has some certain rules how a scientific name should be uh, written right first one is that we can see how to write a scientific name right scientific name how to write first one is that genus names comes first species name follow the next first we have to write the genus name for example what is the scientific name of human beings homo sapiens homo sapiens so genus name should come first and the species name should come next and if it is printed it should be italicized it should be written in it should be printed in slanting italicized if it is written it should be underlined right so genus name should come first the species name comes next and if it is printed it should be italicized and if it is written it should be underlined separately and next the scientific name should be in greek or latin this is the another name and the name relates the plant or an animal it should be related to it and genus name should always begin with the capital letter and the species name should always starts with the small letter right so these are all the basic rules of writing the scientific name and no organism should have the two or more scientific names right and that is also the rule under the nomenclature and one more rule is that if a person if an organism is discovered the name of the scientist can be written along with it right and the year also can be mentioned and it can be written with the vowels at the back it can be written with the words i i i or a e the example for this is a garden dwelling lizard lizard right we say onan right it was the scientific name of it is cryptodactylus and it can be written as cryptodactylus varadgiri because the scientist who found out is varadgiri so the organism who cryptodactylus can be written as cryptodactylus varadgiri and along with the name the vowel i can be added so these are all the rules of writing the scientific name so when you are exam children in your public exams whenever you are writing a scientific name write Uh, write the scientific names genus name with the capital letter species name with the small letter and underline the word so you score more marks in that right so rules of nomenclature is an important question children and now we are going to discuss about the concept of the species so the first concept was given by john ray what was the famous book written by john ray children it's an important need questions also underline it historia generalis plantarum right he described and what was the 
view of John Ray regarding the species. It is an important question. So, he, what he did? He described species as a group of morphologically similar organisms. So, species or the group of morphologically similar organisms. So, from this they may ask a question children, they may give the different views and the view was given by which scientist, right. So, next concept was given by Carolus Linnaeus in his book Systema Nature. What was the name of the book? Systema Nature. And he described species as a basic unit of life. It's an important book by one more question children, which is the basic unit of life. Species is the basic unit of classification. And the last concept was given by Charles Darwin in his book Origin of Species. Right in the book Origin of Species, he understands he explains the evolutionary connections. What in the evolutionary parinama? For example, if we are we evolved from the monkeys, right? So every organism has a evolutionary history. So based on that, the species can be described. This was the view given by Charles Darwin. It's an important book by question, children. Write a note on the concept of species. So with this, the session comes to an end, children. With this, we have attached the study material, assessment and question bank for this lesson. Go through it. Practice the self-assessment to know how far you understood the topic. Do the activity, children. Take a notebook. Write 10 10 examples for binomial, nomenclature and the tautonomy. Right? Put a tabular column in your notebook and start writing. Separate the page as common name, scientific name and start writing. This would help you to know more about this. Thank you children, have a nice day. I am Ivarani from plus 2. I am Sandhya from plus 2. We are participating in state level beach volleyball competition. Hell that